is Boardwalk Hall, the Jim Whalen Boardwalk Hall, home of the largest pipe organ in the world at Atlantic City. And it was built around the same time as the convention hall in Asbury Park. And they were actually meant to be, well, they were kind of trying to rival one another, but I mean, Atlantic City just, I mean, everything about this building Everything about this building is massive and is just on an incredible scale. I mean, you can see people there on the boardwalk and so how big this and massive this building is. And there's this front part of the building here, this early part, and then the, the portion of the, uh, that's a, a, a sort of modeled after a Zeppelin hangar, which uh, you can see how that arched roof is just enormous on that, <coughs> excuse me, on that rear building there but the exhibition spaces are here and then in the front here this is the adrian that area up there is the adrian phillips ballroom that is home to the kimball organ the the little guy or the smaller of the two and then the mid loge actually sits almost all the way to the rear of this building the console is actually on this side of the building i am on the north side of the building um i don't know what street i'm on actually i wish i knew oh this is mississippi i'm on mississippi right now so but this is the famous boardwalk hall here's the dedication plate for the auditorium and convention hall pretty significant 1977 when gambling was legalized in new jersey to try to revitalize atlantic city and here is the beautiful front Atlantic City is definitely associated with risk-taking and going in all big and all that sort of thing, and this building definitely does that. Um, it even indicates in this dedication on top of the uh, facade that this is a permanent monument to the ideals of Atlantic City built by its citizens. I mean, that is a bold statement. It's going to be here forever, and they built it to last. It survived hurricanes and all sorts of storms. It's quite a statement about the city. Now, in that same plaza, if you spin around and look towards the ocean, you see Kennedy Plaza here, dedicated to the assassinated president. And the 1964 Democratic National Convention was held there just after his assassination. In fact, in the same year that the Atlantic City Expressway was built. This is the um, north side of the building. And uh, it's worthy to note that the just below the three windows and then just below the arch, the top of the archway, to me it looks like there are lines there that... Um, there mu I wonder if there was a, 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 an overhang or an awning or something at two levels there because if you look carefully, you can totally see all those lines there that are clearly uh, the remnants of something. Just thought that was kind of nifty. Mississippi, that's Boardwalk Hall, all the way over there. I took this video the there day before on my way to White House subs. So, it's a beautiful day in February. I think today's the 24th of February, 2023. And I'm standing in Atlantic City, uh, right near the boardwalk, about one block in. Uh, this is uh, Pacific, and then behind me is Atlantic. And then in front of me here is the back end of Boardwalk Hall. This is the west wall of Boardwalk Hall. And <clears throat> I took a video of this uh, in the evening yesterday from the front to the other side of the building. But the reason I started over here is to just sort of give you, a, again, the size, of the, the, or the size of the building, the scope that we're on here. I mean, those are automobiles, and then that building is that big. And then that's the Zeppelin hangar part there doing its thing. And then um, this wall here, this big, tall wall, which is the rear of the stage, uh, the Miss America stage in the main main hall in the big room um, and then over there actually that section of the building over there which is duplicated on this side but 
um, this other building's in the way here, but on that side, that's the organ um, shop, right? The organ shop where the organ was constructed and where the organ was assembled and where it is serviced even to this day. And uh, perhaps when I get into my tour a little later, um, I'll be able to show you some of that video. So we'll be on the other side of that wall in the organ shop soon, uh, within the next half an hour or so. So I just wanted to show you that. And again, to show you the scope of things. And the other thing that I wanted to show you... Now I include this image. Many of us remember February 2021, the implosion of Trump Plaza. And look to your right there. The building that's coming into focus is Boardwalk Hall. Look at how close. So I moved, let me show you, this is the, the actual organ shop wall, which is, in, and it's interesting because there are just these small windows here, and on the other side there are clearly like offices and things over there, the organ shop is not over there, it's on this side, this is the north end of the building, the northwestern corner of the building, and the organ is basically in the next room, right, there's a room right on the other side of this wall that's the organ shop, and then the organ is in the next room where the big starts at where that section of the building starts, that curved section. That's like, that's like how far in the organ is, basically. So you just get an idea of scale. And the other thing that I kind of wanted to show you was, um, some of us remember just not too long ago, um, the Trump Plaza was imploded. And that happened right here. The this image on the, the right was taken at least one or two Plaza. blocks north of and, my current um, position. What's interesting is they left that section of the hotel up and then that's the original section there, that black section over there with the windows. I think that's an original section of the Playboy Hotel, which became Trump Plaza, or at least part of it did. And then what's interesting is this, and this is the architecture that was representative of Trump Plaza, but this is uh, the parking deck and they never knocked down a good parking deck in Atlantic City. But yeah, so this actually is sort of remnants of what the hotel looked like, uh, but obviously it was on the other side there. And there are Caesars, and just this week I stayed at Valleys, just beyond there. So that kind of gives you the lay of the land. The ocean is just over yonder there. So then if I go, if I kind of go this way a little bit, you can get a sense of Boardwalk Hall. And I'll, I'll cross the street and show you some Yeah, so there's that rear back wall of the stage. This is the organ shop area here. And then there's the length of the building, right? And then where that architecture begins and goes, yeah, that is the main room, right? That's the main exhibit space, main exhibit hall, where they crown Miss America and fly, fly helicopters in there. Hopefully we're gonna be in that room real shortly. And then that front area I showed again last night on the map where the roof changes there, that's the ballroom section in the front there. And as I said, this is where the Trump building was, the Trump Plaza. And here, you can even see it's sort of Trump font. Trumpy font, but they had to remove. I read that there was a uh, court case they had to remove his name, his company name from everything here because the building had fallen into such disrepair. They even had to put that up to support the bridge that used to go across to the hotel. So, okay, so Boardwalk Hall. It's in this really critical area, right in the center of the boardwalk. Well, there we go. So, this is the Boardwalk Hall lobby area. You can go down to the parking area. And the ballroom is actually over our heads. The Adrian Phillips ballroom is upstairs. So I've actually been to Adrian upstairs, Phillips Jr. and the third's house would go in to Sun top, City, Arizona, turn around, make a U -turn, and then where they have the original pipe overhead. organ from Atlantic City High School. Main gallery room is straight ahead through those doors on the other side of the escalators. And the large space straight ahead has the large mid Merlot organ, and the Adrian Phillips ballroom directly over our heads has a smaller Kimball. It's a big lobby, though. So the whole lobby is set up sort of museum-like, and this is a thing dedicated to Miss America and the stage hands, the union, all that sort of thing. This is uh, Benny Goodman, Steel Pier, Duke Ellington, all this dedicated to the musicians. There's Frank Sinatra and other entertainers, Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis, etc. Uh, the 1964 Democratic National Convention was held there. Um, here's the program and the ticket. Uh, it was kind of controversial, actually. The MFDP, uh, an African-American organization, was refused seating at the convention, and therefore Stokely Carmichael and Martin Luther King spoke right outside Convention Hall. There you can see the architecture there. Here's a little write-up about that unfortunate incident. And next we have a movie poster from the film Atlantic City, 1944. 
Um, I'm only aware of the 1980 film starring Burt Lancaster and Susan Sarandon, so this was new for me. I'll have to watch that someday. What could be more synonymous with Atlantic City than the Miss America pageant? Check out the 1956 class. And did you know that the Miss America pageant was created to extend the summer season past Labor Day? So here is the portable console. It's uh, with its five manuals. It's a big sucker. Looks like uh, like driving a uh, driving a Cadillac. Built 2932, mid Merloche, Long Island. It's a lot of stops. A lot of stops. A lot of stops on this side too. Pedal 32s over there. There are some major pedal mixtures. There's the 64. Right there. You see it? Pedal right. All the way over on the right. You see it? It's centered now. Diaphone 64. Biggest pipe in the world. <laughs> Only one other in the world. In it's in the town hall organ in, I think it's Sydney. And that one's a reed. This one's a diapason. But yeah, you can see some of this stuff here. And then in the pedal department. Kind of expression, a lot of expression shoes. Look at that. And then... But even the, I mean, even the console, though, look at the class on that, look at that. Beautiful, right? And then that, just the bench, even. This is an interesting idea to uh, put in a black pipe addition to the console and let your feet rest on there. That's an interesting idea for my organ at home. Anyway, so yeah, there's the portable console. This is a pretty significant spot on the instrument. This is the 64-foot stop that activates that voice. Interestingly enough, on the large console inside the big room, it's referred to as a dulzian. Furthermore, that stop to the left, that 42 and 2 thirds, if you activate both of them at once, that's supposed to create a resultant similar to a 128-foot voice, which must just be some racket. So this first image is a famous one of the 32-foot stop on the south end of the building installed before the rest of the instrument was put in. This is the Wizard of Oz console. I think it inspired some of the imagery in that film. I think that's somewhat documented. And this is Lois Miller, the woman who served as organist at this monster for a great portion of the 20th century. Hello, Scott. Howdy. So again, we uh, brought the 64 foot stop into tune at the end of 2021. We actually discovered that they had never fully been tuned because we had to add shading at the very tops of the pipes. And where you don't need too, too much to tune a regular pipe, we actually had to have a multitude of people doing this, one at the top of the pipe, one at the actual console, and three out in the hall itself listening to the different beats because you would hear it go into phase and then slip out of phase over the course of quite a few seconds. Whoa. It was not a typical Whoa. tuning job here. Yeah. But again, we know now that the lowest notes of this, which are all subharmonic, are said eight hertz? Insane. Eight hertz? Eight hertz. Eight yep. hertz. I mean, that's we could do that with our hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and again, we also have the resultant stop here of 42 and two thirds, which gives you the sound of 128 foot pipe. So four cycles per second. Wow. That's what everybody needs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is the 64 foot Dolzian. Cool. Oh, what a treat. Thank so this know. is a clapper associated with the low C on the 30, 64 foot diaphone, the Rudy Lucenti pipe. It gives it some real rumble. And then here, this is turnbuckle to keep the pipe from blowing out of the socket there. Getting bigger down the side wall there. Right, these little guys. Another rank getting, another part of the rank getting bigger above you. 
and then wrapping around through here, and finally finishing with the 16 foot, but it's a stop 16 foot, so really a 32 foot. How many voices, so you said voice one, this I just told voice nine, how many voices? 449. 449, and so each voice is a rank? Um, if you go by just voice numbers, I want to say it's 385, but that's including, the ranks are including mixtures. Mixtures, right, of and course. We have an 11-rank mixture in here, which you really don't find. I noticed just on the portable console outside how many mixtures there are on the pedal. Yep. It was, and what are we hearing? Are the blowers on? The blowers starting up right now, so. How exciting. Yeah. One more time, please. That's really remarkable. What we can't reproduce here is the sheer rumble that these 32 foot stops wow. create. 32, right? 32? Yep, uh, yeah. That's actually not 32. This is a couple notes up from there. Oh, okay. Well, uh, but it's a 32 but foot rank. Yeah, yeah, wow. What are we Freaking looking at now? So, what's this restored guy? These are. Go from here. These pipes are at an early part of the tour and clearly demonstrate uh, something that they have renovated versus something that is still original looking. So the ranks on the left are redone and the ranks on the right are still in their original condition. We have a harmonic fuse, I'm sorry, it's a four foot and an eight foot. And then diaphase number one, six two, and then Amazing, amazing. Wow, so restored. Originally on you know, unrestored. Oh yes, I've been in. Yes. Yeah, wow. And these are still being used, or are we all solid state yes. now? No, this we're all, all, this being all being used. used. So wow, this is still functioning and telling the organ what to do. Sending messages from the pipe, from the consoles, to here to the pipes. And here's where the get stored before it goes in, the bellows. Wow. For an organ like this, you really have to keep things straight. So these are some of the handwritten notes on like what is in this particular area of the organ. The original notes from 1928, 1930, amazing. Soft. That should be on the opposite side. I'm really losing it if it's on the right side. So there is a 32 foot stop playing right now, but I don't think it's reproducible with the equipment we had. So we are what? Two stories off the ground? A story off the ground? Three yeah, stories three off the ground? Three stories up? Yeah. Yeah, the, the room modeled after probably, the Zeppelin hangar. It's probably a little bit more than three. This is level three, but again, a level here is an eight feet. Right, exactly. Everything is just such on such a grand scale. There's the Miss America stage. So yeah, you get, we're in a regulator room here, and then this would climb up the ceiling, right? You'd go into the roof. Yeah, so it's about a 15 foot rung ladder, and then you're actually in what we call the attic space. There's two clamshells to boardwalk hall. When you look at the outer roof, you're seeing the exterior of one. And when you look at the inner ceiling, you're seeing the inside of the other. We're between those two spaces right now. And it's not small. There's about 40 feet of space. I see that, yeah. The arch. Big. So. And there are two organ divisions up there? Yes, one on each side. This side is the echo. We're on the Mississippi side of the building, or right-hand side as you're facing the stage. And on the opposite side is the fanfare division, the ceiling on the Georgia side. And you access them through ladders like this? Yes. Is this the access ladder for this, this, is this side? This the access ladder for this side of the chamber. It's Amazing. the opposite on the other side. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, you, so you never, I mean, I've been coming here since I was a teenager, but I've never seen like the guts of yeah. of the space. So yeah. thank you. And you can see, yeah. it's not HVAC, these go all the way down to the second sub basement. So is this like a straight drop, you mean? Uh, I wouldn't call it a straight drop. There's plenty of things in between to hit yourself on, but it goes all the way down to where these steel pylons actually rest on railroad cars to slide ever so slightly with the building. Wow. You never know when you're touring a building that's almost 100 years old what you're going to find. Here, film projectors and follow spots that Lord knows how old they are, what they've been through. Here is a Westinghouse DC motor model SK. This is a big deal, big find. I mean, these haven't been made in forever. Um, and they just, it, it, I, I'm a big fan of the DC AC current wars that occurred when electricity was first mainstreamed. And um, here's another sign of those times as well. Fallout shelter sign, not everybody's favorite, but here we well, go, we here's the organ. Running if you have free time during the summer. Oh yeah. Let us know and we'll work some time in for you. We'd love can. that.
That's so nice of you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. But again, in 2019, we reactivated combination. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So that's a major turning point for just ease of use on the instrument. Right. The other part, by augmenting this with modern technology, now we can give every organist <coughs> a folder. And in that folder, they have 50 levels. So you can program everything here 50 times over before you've used up your folder. And then you just call us up in the shop. We come down with an iPad and we can give you another folder. Amazing. Where is the 64 foot uh, stop tab? Here right and there. here. Let me cancel that. Sentence. Well, there are two of them. Yep. Or in two locations. Because one is a reed, and this was actually supposed to be a, uh, a reed and a diaphone. They didn't end up doing that, so that's why it's in two separate locations. Oh. But then you can also see its mutations and unification. Wherever you see 17, that's the continuation. That's what those it. numbers are for, yep. sure. Okay. So you know what rank you're accessing. Yep. So that's everything on the 64 foot. So it's like the unit 64 rank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's your 32. That's the uh, resultant for 128 foot. That's the resultant to give you a 30, uh, I'm sorry, a 64 foot resultant before you get to the 64 foot long pipe. Wow. Amazing. So my friends, here are the payoff shots. I got all the pictures I could want in front of the console or at the console. Um, a very, very special thanks goes out to Scott Banks for hosting me and providing such a wonderful tour. Um, I unfortunately didn't get a chance to play it this time, uh, but I have played it before on two or three occasions, and uh, but not as much, nearly as much was working as there is now. So I'm looking forward to playing it. So until then, or at least until next time, thank you so much for watching this video and giving of your time. Thank you to Scott, and thank you to Atlantic City for another great memory.